In the second part, we're going to focus on the topic of risk management. David, the mic is yours. All right, so risk management. Risk management is also a very important factor. So how do we handle that? My answer would be a well, a well prioritized backlog uh, as a result of, for example, a code audit can help mitigate some risks. Uh, and how do we prepare a well prioritized backlog? So in order to prepare a good product backlog, it's very important to look at business goals and try to form them into releases and release goals. Then it's good to see if it fits the approach we want to take. So maybe let's check which parts of the code uh, are changed the most frequently, check which parts of the product are most often used by the users. And combining it with the release goals, we can prepare a strategy of implementation. And the end result of such strategy should be a well-built and prioritized product backlog. So let's just give a couple of hints which may help you with creating one. Undesirable results from an audit doesn't mean that we should react drastically, panic, or ignore the issues uh, we discover. Moreover, uh, we should view it uh, as an opportunity to understand the weaknesses in our code uh, so that we can then uh, apply good planning practices to be able to make better informed, uh, more conscious uh, decisions about improving the code. Ask your team about uh, their rough uh, estimations and uh, by considering this uh, in line with your business uh, aims and values, you will be able to prepare a smarter plan. Yeah, in the previous section, Anna said we don't need to react drastically, panic, or ignore the issues we discovered, and I can agree with her. Result of code audit is what it is. Now we need to think about how to change our code to make it easier to introduce new features. Uh, so long story short, uh, we need to start thinking about how can we pay off the technical debt. Uh, now we need to prepare a strategy. We need to set up the goal of our technical debt payoff, prepare a workshop with the development team and start thinking about refactoring. Uh, on this level, probably you need to create some metrics for code quality to check if our changes are moving the code to be more maintainable or not. For preparing the plan, important knowledge is about which part of the product our users use more often and which part of source code is changing most frequently. Based on that information, you will see which part of the code you need to start refactoring uh, on the first. Even if you have a good plan, you still need to be working beyond it. You should uh, maintain conversation uh, around uh, tech debt uh, and uh, establish checkpoints uh, for it uh, to ensure it is decreasing. Revisit your roadmap uh, again from time to time with your team as it uh, changes rapidly. 